first I try to disabuse them of the idea that, um, like I give this advice to graduate students who are playing the PhD program, um, you know, are you going to be a different person if you get accepted here? Is, is, is global warming going to go away? Like, you are going to be the same messed up person you are the day you start your PhD program. So if your letter is all about how it's already reformed you into the vision of your true self that you always hoped you would be, you're doing it really for the wrong reasons. And I feel, and I could be wrong, that students who want to get into gaming um, want, um, like my active friends in undergraduate, a very particular type of acting, a very particular type of gaming. Um, I had business students who all wanted to be buyers for Nordstrom. So, do you want to stay in business or do you want to be a buyer for Nordstrom? Because I don't know how many buyers there are at Nordstrom, but it seems kind of a glamorous insider part of that world that maybe you wouldn't start at. You know, like this kind of the difference between what you want and the difference between and, and what you say you want. So, I find that once students start get um, we start analyzing video games, we first have to find some kind of method or theory. That's how I approach it. Um, you could do it differently. And those students will have a, a kind of new appreciation for both the theory and the given artifact that's, um, that's, that's being used on. There's, um, there's a kind of romanticism about games. Games seem to still occupy the it's like the middle finger to your parents' job you could have. You know, beer taster, it's just kind of a, um, it's not a real job, but somehow it would uh, prolong your American arrested, um, uh, your, your prolonged adolescence into infinity. But when we're actually talking about how to study them, um, that's a whole different thing. Um, and so, if you want to study games, I advise students to obviously play a lot of games, but get familiar with some studies. So, I mean, I use Aristotle and Adorno and Horkheimer, I use Kent, I use um, semiotics. I mean, there's, what, what are you going to use to illuminate that object? Um, or what are you going to contribute, right, of your own? If students want to make games, I looked this up last year, there's almost 400 programs in the country now to make games, to be a game developer, and I think that explains the worthless degree tag on the slide in the last session. Um, like the MFA program, the MFA degree, there is no way anyone who participates in that economy can't come to the realization that they are churning out far more candidates than there are positions. And so, that disequilibrium suggests something is amiss. You're either harnessing, in a cynical way, the misguided dreams of youth, or you are, um, you firmly believe there's a chance for everyone to realize their dreams, or whatever that kind of language is. You can, I agree with the, that panelist who said, it's not free, I just need to make games in my rhetoric class with all freeware on university machines that are old, um, and if they are uncomfortable with coding, then, or off-the-shelf stuff, which is very easy, they can make paper-based games, they can make an ARG. I once had a student make a game with PowerPoint. There are many options. I once made a game through Excel. It was, it was chess, Excel, that I, I, I figured out. Um, it's the way that my friend at New York Marcus could play chess with me, and I was at a different insurance company in New York because we were exchanging the sales products that could get through the firewalls. And all I did was drop chess icons into Excel spreadsheet. I mean, it was really easy. Where's all this coming? Um, studying games as cultural artifacts is very hard because it's, it almost always involves theory. I don't see how it can't. That's how I understand it. And that is not the investigation of um, getting into games as an industry, although it should be. So I think uh, every student should start with um, uh, Aristotle and uh, Huizinga and Kaiwa and uh, to the Frankfurt School and Dora and Parker and Hughes and Benjamin. And then whatever contemporary person they really like, they should study media like film, they should study narrative, they should study all of it, and they should develop their own games. But that's a whole lot to ask of anybody. 
I don't know that a 20-year-old can make a commitment like that. I don't know that I would have a 20. I doubt it would have.